Hello everybody and welcome to a little talk. Uh, I want to talk about what is recovery. Recovery means like to become more healthier or to gain health or to gain personal health or and to get, achieve something within one's uh, existence that is sort of reaching for something that is better than what you are at a certain state. For instance, if you are sick, if you are, if you have a problem, you can recover from that uh, illness or or symptom or a disease. So why is recovery all engaged with psychiatry? Well, since the beginning of psychiatry, we have seen that we have seen that people are are being abused in the system. People are dying in the system. People are doing drugs in the system. There are so much abuse and crimes going on within the system of psychiatry that they just have to end totally all of it, psychiatry and psychology. That being said, it will going to take some time and some effort, but recovery is one of the first steps, first steps to, to stop, stop uh, psychiatry and change from psychiatry. Now this is this is not a process that starts today. This is a process that's been going on for many, many, many years. Thirty-six, to be precise. Now, back in 1978, in Italia, they made a new law. This law that made in Italia at this time was called the Bassa Bassagila Law. Bassagila Law, which, which, what this law did was to end psychiatry as it was being as it was in Italy with the, with the big houses with lots of rooms lots of rooms and beds and and keeping pay, pay patients like in this uh, prison or what you're going to call it of a locked up prison system and keeping patients there for longer long times and and this because it costs the main reason why they did end this was because it cost too much and in Italy, in, in we have seen that the, that the daycare centers have uh, come instead, like like a daycare center where you can spend time, maybe learn some skill, video editing, maybe learn uh, uh, vlogging, maybe learn uh, baking, maybe like cooking food, maybe learn to uh, fix bicycle, fix a car, maybe learn uh, English or Spanish language, etc. And uh, go for trips and have, a, have, have you have a social uh, engagement within this within that uh, particular daycare center. And you can participate there and uh, get help from peer workers. So, how will how will recovery really look like, and what does recovery look like today? Well, for instance, in the north of Italy, uh, what I've been introduced to is on a conference in Göteborg for or one or two years ago. I was there and I talked to some people from a, from a city or area in Italy called Trento. It's in north of Italy, it's got 500,000 inhabitants and they had a dig daycare center where there were 2,000 people going to the state daycare center on a regular basis uh, and there was 45 pair workers there. A peer worker is a person who has had been suffering, have been experiencing depression, schizophrenia, ADHD, eating disorders, one kind of some kind of mental disorder, and then can work with it with his or her experience onto a second person that are new within this experience and don't know how to respond or react or what measures or preventions to take. And then this then we you actually change the cognitive therapy part from having a doctor sitting listening and writing down your words as you lie on the couch and talk about your childhood cares or, or, or teenage years or you talk about whatever went on goes on in your head at, 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 and you tell the doctor 
all this and that, that is called the gestalt therapy and this would be we, we change into the pair worker could be like the gestalt therapist and work with his or her experience on guiding and helping and, and supporting this person that are new within the within the system of uh, recovery or of psychiatry so uh, also one of the one of the one of the first daring doctors who uh, sort of put his head out there and uh, saying that we should not discuss the patient's future without the patient being prom being present we should not discuss the, the uh, role of of the of the um, parents or the family of the patient without the parents being there taking part in the conversation without them being informed so then you could say the term of the user or the client or the patient's role were strengthened in the sense that he he or she the patient or the client were now given the opportunity to participate directly in the process of decision making within the head nurses within the nurses special nurses doctors over with the head doctors psychologists social socionomes social workers etc the patient Mr. Schizophrenia or Mrs. ADHD were allowed to take part in the process of deciding what comes, what, how to make changes within one's life, within one's physical, within the within the process, and that that is also called a part of the recovery process and recovery innovation and recovery thinking. That the patient or the client is encouraged and uh, is giving the opportunity to participate in the decision making of his or her mental health or health environment and physical care and physical appearance or, or, or life situation. Now this, this was driven through or started by a doctor called Jaco Sekula in the north of Finland in 1984 approximately. So uh, he started this kind of treatment and then you can say that and we start this treatment with with including the patient within everything that was concerning the patient the patient was included in whatever whatever uh, decision making or or, 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 or or prescribing or physically uh, workouts etc were, were meant for the patient the patient was were included in all these directing directions and all these meetings now, what we see as a result of this is like, in, in, for instance, in the United States, you have user, um, like patient, that are the administrators of these houses. The former patients are taking over as administrators of the houses, of the units. Uh, like you have Soteria House in the United States, or you have Earth House in the United States. Houses, the people can come. Uh, like a daycare center, maybe it's only private, maybe it's the state, state sponsored partially, etc. The foundings, uh, and they can come to this daycare center called the Earth House or Soteri House. Maybe they even live there at this house in, in a collective community. Maybe they go there to learn a skill, and maybe they maybe that their Soteri House or the Earth House or the Fountain House also open the doors uh, and past the like from 9 to 20 in the evening just to, to make sure that the that the, the, the client or the, or, the, or the patient don't go to the pub and then they have a, I have it have they have a that the, that the client or the patient have a uh, a, a offer a possibility to, uh, to attend the daycare center. So the so you can say that there are also all sorts of different houses that are based on the client and patient uh, participating participating in decision making. This has been growing very much in the last years, also in Scandinavia, in the United States, and other places. 
houses that are used and designed for the for the client or the patient from a former patient to take part in the actual decision making and be a, be a part of the leading team within those houses or daycare centers. And you have also, so you know, in Praha, you have a green door project, the cafes, a working working place where you can work and you can uh, work and receive a pay salary. And the, and the whole cafe is run from the initiative of on the basis of serving, and of serving the, the 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 client, the patients, and the former patients and the former the clients uh, to have by make give them a work possibility. Like they have a green green door in Paraha, or like they have the, with the runaway house in Berlin. There are all sorts of these with the, with with the different the different all the time. You, in, you go to Bog, you have for instance. A hotel that is run by people people who work there have either Asperger's, Tourette's syndrome, or schizophrenia, for instance. They work at this this uh, and then they they run this whole uh, hotel in uh, Göteborg. So there are lots of lots of very many very many different uh, communities, so daycare centers, etc., that uh, appear to offer uh, a better and more more friendly. Uh, environment or, or, or opportunity for the client or for for the patient and you can also say the Campbell movement is also a part of this because it is also a part, great part of the survival movement like Mad Pride or Fountain House or or, or Mental Health Care, Mind of England uh, Campbell uh, Holistic uh, or, or the, or the um, Holistic Steiner School of Movement um, the Campbell movement have uh, also include special people who have special needs for uh, a slow down sort of uh, living on a farm or living making making stuff and, and working with one's body whether it's physical. So there's very many different sorts, different different organized. Uh, in Europe, in North America, and in Scandinavia, and in Australia, there's also something. I'm not quite sure about what they have in Australia, but like in Dorset, you have like in Dorset in the United Kingdom, you have this, uh, you have this, uh, very much based on the user's premises. The on the premise, everything decision that is going to be made, made is going to be made on the basis and on, on the and on the premises of the user of the client of the patient the patient and the client must be considered a uh, much greater value because today uh, thing that this and it's just um, very many people in psychiatry still live with drug alcohol uh, lousy food fro fro uh, frozen pizzas and hamburgers etc very many people die in a, you know, from a young age in, 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 in psychiatry, so we need to change. There's no doubt about that. And and, and you can say on the on the ladder or the stairs, on the stairs of, of, of this path, you could say recovery is one of the first steps to formally end all psychiatry and stop those, uh, stop the abuse and the crime and uh, and etc. that are going on within those walls and have been going on within those walls. And so recovery is actually. A early bird in changing this total the whole world we live in to a more sharing, open, warm, uh, welcoming community for everybody to participate. Uh, like it, like we, like it's stated from the Equal Life Foundation, and with the proposal of living income guaranteed. So there is a lot of different uh, movements uh, run, uh, and, and houses, community centers where you can go. Participate and and give in or give your share and and get a maybe get a meal, and uh, and make some friends and uh, read 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 some material and look at some art etc. And uh, they're coming more and more and they and they need to come more and more and um, one of the one of the very key factors here is that the user or the client or the per or the patient is in focus is supposed to give be given more. To say within the treatment of of the of the patient or the patient or the client, and uh, check out the Bassa Bassa Gila Law of Italy, 1978, Google Psychiatry.
Basta Liga Law, Italia, 1978, let's see if I can put a link in for it here. Check out the videos of Yaku Sekula, I'll put some link on that too, for his uh, open dialogue. Open dialogue, sharing, like I'm doing here, sharing on a video vlog. Uh, treatment of schizophrenia in, in Finland. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, recovery is sort of ending. It's a first step of really stopping all psychiatry and psychology as what it is and have been, what it is, what it is today, what it have been for many years already. So, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for listening and have a really nice day.